How to Master the Art of Storytelling You've just spent a few months completely understanding your organization in your role as a business architect. Now, you have to share that with leaders who have to make a critical decision based on your work. The topic could be about a new product launch, redesigning a major process, establishing a new department, or moving major parts of your enterprise to the public cloud. You have all of 30 minutes to share your findings and elicit a decision. How do you prepare for and deliver your message effectively? You might have created an exhaustive heat mapped capability model, laid out the value chain, identified critical organizational roles, drawn up the enterprise data model, cataloged ongoing work, identified KPIs, captured the business rules, and understood the strategy. Distilling all this complexity into a simple story is not easy. I've had the opportunity to present complex topics to senior executives at Fortune 50 companies. People tell me that I'm a great storyteller. Let's look at a range of possible content, timings, and delivery modes. On one axis, we have different types of genres like mysteries, romance, suspense, etc. For us business architects and technologists, those genres range from deeply technical to holistic business. On another axis, you could have the time scale for communication ranging from a few seconds to a few days. On the delivery mode, you will find documents, slides, spreadsheets, diagrams, videos, and speaking, among others. Hallway meetings usually last for about two minutes and offsite planning a couple of days. Different parts of this framework are effective for different situations and requires mastering different skills. You might be a natural at sitting around the campfire and regaling your audience with tall stories. You might be a natural at stand-up comedy, cracking up the audience. You might be a natural at facilitating and driving day-long working sessions. My area in this framework plays to my strengths. I love to distill the complexity of business and technology into short videos, much like this one. I don't aspire to be a George Lucas, and I'd be a lousy pick for campfire stories. With this context, let me share with you what has served me well, but I would urge you to pick a part of the framework that plays to your strengths and get good at it so you can rule that part. First, I spend some time thinking about my audience. Who are they? What do they already know? What do they need to know? And how technical are they? Next, I craft a message in a structural way. In a linear structure, I lead the audience through a sequence. Problem solving usually falls under this structure and has stages like problem definition, context, framing, solution exploration, testing, selection, and finally implementation. Typical story structures look like this and include stages of setup, confrontation, and resolution. In a hierarchical structure, you break down the big parts into smaller and smaller parts. In a network structure, you show relationships among different concepts. In a stack structure, you illustrate how the parts are arranged, and so on. Then I start with a blank sheet of paper to craft the main points of the story aligned with the structure that I've chosen so I can lead the audience on a journey. I do not use PowerPoint. It's among the worst tools because at this stage, it constrains thinking. Paper is a thousand times better. For me, the story comes together on paper. Since paper is two dimensional, I have the choice of how I wanna walk through the content. It also gives the audience the flexibility of adding their thoughts into my picture. I often leave the audience with an electronic version of the one-page visual we just co-created, just like this one. This one-pager essentially helps them to recall 
content anytime with a quick glance. If you want a one pager of this video, just send me an email. Also comment below if you can decipher any structure in this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Thank you very much.